Hey guys, what's up? It's me here, Jay Parple, and I'm back again for another video. And this time, I have a really epic unboxing for you guys. So today, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Beyblade Burst Evolution Legend Surprising S3. So there you go, guys. I finally was able to find Wave 2 at Target in Australia, guys. So I found, uh, I found this... Uh, Doom Sizer and the, the other voucher. Like I was not able to find Cognite, unfortunately, but I was able to. This was the last Legend Surprise on the peg, so I was like, I'm buying it, I don't care. This is the first time that I found this, so yeah. Um, I'll eventually try and get the rest of the base from this wave, but for now, we have here Legend Surprise and S3, and I do have the original Takara Tomi one, which I'll just grab real quick for you guys. So yeah, I do have the original Takara Tomy version of this bay, so um, we will be doing a comparison between this bay and the Hasbro one, so uh, yes, in this video, so let's just get right into it. So starting off with the box here, this is the regular Switch Strike packaging, so uh, it says Beyblade Burst Evolution right here, you know, it says Performance Top System, stuff like that, Ages 8 Plus here. You know, it shows Legion Surprising bursting, I believe it's Tempest Wyvron. And you have the app advertisement here as well. Legend Surprising, uh, D30 disc with the TB06 performance tip. And uh, I've only used Beyblade Burst Tops with the Beyblade Burst Base Stadium. <sighs> Switch Strike thing, you know, you guys can see the Bayle display on the back. You guys can see it has Legend Surprising right here. Um, the Switch Strike ability of this bay is that it's got adjustable spin direction. Basically, this bay spins left and right, guys. So you can actually change the direction of spin that the bay has. And it also, you know, because the tip is merged, um, so it has like, it has like a little, um, like the, it's like a star type driver. Um, but it says here left uh, or right spin paths, but basically. Basically, it's like, just a star thing, you know, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just get to it and unbox this bay. So will you take us away, knife? So, everything's out. We have all the plastic thingos everywhere now. And we're just gonna quickly shove this back in here, like so. So yeah, there you go. Um, we have here Legend Surprising 7 Merge. Um, oh man, I'm in a really bad position. All right, so yeah, let's just test out the uh, slopes on this bay. First time putting it together and, whoa. Whoa, that's an insane click. Whew. That's an insane click, guys. I really like this bay, actually. Wow, it looks really nice, actually. It looks really accurate to Takara Tomy's. So, yeah, real quick comparison. Takara, Takara right here. And Hasbro with the slopes. Wow, I'm liking this. Wow, all right. So yeah, we're gonna have a quick little play around with this bay and then we'll get back to you guys when we uh, sort of know a bit more about the bay and stuff, so. Yeah. Alright guys, so here is Legend Sprising S3 out of the packaging, guys. And I gotta say, this bay is actually really, really accurate. So, it, it's, it actually is really accurate. Here's the Takara version. I do have the Takara version, thank goodness. And, uh, yeah, really there is no real difference besides the size of that. Um, you guys can see the uh, gold chip here, or the... Yeah, the um, little god chip here, you know, you guys can see the metal god chip is a bit more, is protruding a lot more on uh, the Takaratomi Legend Sprite, on the Takaratomi Legend Spriggan than it is on uh, Hasbro's Legend Spriggan. Um However, it is still metal, it still is the same sort of material that they are using, so that is a good thing. Um, if you guys are wondering, the slopes on this bay is, yeah, they're exceptional slopes, like, Seriously, it's, it's great. I love these slopes, um, but Yeah, it's just in general like a great looking layer like you guys can see they really did plant down You know is you guys can see they really did put down all the stickers um, They even put a bit more I think or is that or is this is this sticker in the wrong place? 
I don't know. I think it is in the wrong place. Lol, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> these stickers have probably just fallen off. I could probably, there you go. I just, I just ripped the sticker off. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you guys can see that ba it's basically the same thing, which is great. I'm really pleased with this. Um, obviously, there's teeth on this. And here's the little mechanism for Legend Surprise. You guys can also scan the code if you, if you need the code, guys. Um, so the mechanism still works the same. Um, it does have this inside of it, you know, um, and the way you change Legends Rising modes is that you grab this bit of the end of your root cord and sort of just plop it in and then you just twist and now it's in left spin and you assemble it uh, as the left spin base. So yeah, and the slopes are okay for left spin, you know, they're okay, they're not, you know, nothing to go home about, you know, they're okay, I guess. Um, but right spin is definitely the better mode for this but still left spin is pretty cool too. Um, you guys can definitely tell that it is a lot more foggy than the Takara version. I really, I do like the Takara version a lot better because it's not foggy, but the Hasbro version still looks pretty sweet. So, you know, that's fine, I guess. Um, I'm still really pleased with the, with the, um, yeah, with the layers. The discs are pretty much the same. You know, here's the Hasbro one, here's the Takara version. Takara's I've obviously used a lot more, so it's not as shiny as Hasbro's, which I've just opened, so. Uh, yeah, and the driver, you guys can see, this is a solid colored driver, so this is Merge, um, and obviously here's the car's Merge, which is a lot more used, and uh, this Merge is a lot more aggressive, I have used it like once, and that's why it's got a bit of dirt on it already, but um, yeah, I've used it like once, so yeah, and I, I really wish that Hasbro would really go towards these sort of more transparent drivers, because I really do like this, these transparent drivers that Takara gives us. I don't know why Hasbro doesn't go to the transparent drivers, you know. Um, I don't think it really costs them that much at all to do transparent drivers. Um, I, I really do not know their reasoning behind not doing transparent drivers. You know, I think it would be really easy for them to do, actually. So, uh, yeah, but whatever. There you go. So, uh, yeah, Legend Surprise and 7 Merge. So, yeah, it's in left spin. And uh, here's Legends Brigand 7 Merge. So, uh, yeah, overall, it's, it's a pretty nice bay in terms of looks. Um, so now we're going to get on to the part of the um, review where we sort of just go straight into the battles, you know, and battle this bay out against some other bays. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it, guys. Let's Go to the stadium. All right, guys. So now we have here Legend Spriggan, and we're gonna be um, doing a quick test launch with it in right spin now. So let's just get right into it. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And you guys can see it's definitely a, no, a lot more aggressive than the original um, Takara Chomi one. So yeah. Really nice spin for right, and uh, we're gonna change the spin pattern real quick. And if you guys don't know, um, they actually did add the little um, prongs out here, so they actually have little prongs out here, so that way you can actually use the Takara Tomy ripcord to change it. So um, they were thinking ahead with that, so that's a really nice addition that they um, didn't really have to include with um, the bay, but they did, so that's really nice. So. Um, now, we're going to be putting Legend Spriggan in left spin now, so 3, 2, 1, let it rip. So, yes, it works really nicely in left spin as well, so really, really nice. So, um, yeah, so let's just get out our first bay battle here, and uh, I'll just get everything back together. <laughs> Alright, so the first bay battle is going to be between the Hasbro Legend Spriggan and the Takara Tomy Legend Spriggan. So let's get right into this battle, guys. Uh, so Hasbro, um, so yeah, Takara Tomy going first. And Hasbro. Oh, and Hasbro getting the quick knockout for the first round. Alright, round number two, Hasbro. And Takara Oh, okay, that was a bit quick. Um, too close to call, so we'll call that one a draw. Alright, we'll get the stadium repositioned up all here. Alright, Takara Tomy. Uh, Alright, 3, 2, 1, go. Let it rip. Whoa, okay, that was a fail. And I don't know where the other one went. Uh-oh. I might have lost it. No! 
No! I actually might have to cut it for the first time. Yeah. Oh no. Actually, where did it go? No! No, I have to cut it. Oh. Alright, we've got everything back together, so let's get right back into the barrel, guys. Oh, and Hasbro with the burst finish at the end there, so... Yeah, that's really nice. Um, by the way, guys, this Legend Spriggan is actually in right spin, so... Yeah, that was a full-on right spin, Legend Spriggan versus Legend Spriggan match. Um, so now, we're gonna do the left spin versus left spin match. So, um, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna change them both into left spin, and we'll do them both in left spin this round to see which one is better. So we're doing, we're just doing that real quick, I'll just show you. I'm doing it on this one, and I did it for the other one before as well. So, uh, yeah. Changing the launcher to left. Alright, so. Legend Spriggan. And Legend Sprite. Whoa! Alright, that was a major burst. And I need to find the clips actually for this. And the Legend Sprite went all the way over here. The layer just flew right across the room. So, that's pretty insane. Lots of recoil with these bags. Wow, I hope nothing broke. No. <laughs> No, just denting, guys. Look, just a bit of denting. And this, I actually have had this bay for a couple of days now. So, um, yeah, this is a bit of denting going on here, as you guys can see. Um, but no no general breaks. So, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, that's, that's, one, that's the one good thing about Takara's plastic. Is that it's clear and you actually can't see it. Even though it's getting, like, it might be dented or something. It doesn't come up with a stress mark like Hasbro's does. So, uh, yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. All right, fine. Hasbro then. And Takara. Oh, okay, well, I guess we can give that one to Takara. <laughs> Even though it was real quick, but we'll give that one to the best priority to Takara. All right. Let's get the stadium a bit more rearranged. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And another double burst! This is insane! I hope the layers are okay. Yeesh. Lots of recoil. Oh, man! Oh, man! My Hasbro layer is actually getting trashed. Look at this. Whoa, and this is just from test battles, yo. This is actually just from test battles. Wow. Maybe this left spin versus left spin mirror match wasn't that good of an idea after all. Alright, Takara doesn't seem as bad, but Hasbro's is getting trashed. Like, actual trashed. Look. You guys can see. Oh, alright. Better watch out for that. Alright. Takara Tomy. And Hasbro. Whoa! And Hasbro's gets the burst finish for that round, so... Yeah, alright, so it's currently 2-2, two two, and this is the one deciding match. Alright, we'll redo that one then. Alright, come on. Oh, it looks like Takaris is actually in the middle. Hasbro's is going around. Well, big hit, another big hit. And Dakar totally ends up taking it with just the, probably one click away from bursting. So, uh, yeah, that's the left spin for this Legend Sprite. And so, um, I guess we can continue with the um, testing, but yeesh, look at that. That layer is insane. All right, so, changing it back into right spin. And we're going to do some uh, different test battles. So, we're going to put. This bay up against Genesis Valtriate next, and hopefully it doesn't break, because this is actually kind of scaring me now, this Legion Sprite. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> wow, I can't believe my Legion Sprite is actually on the verge of breaking. <laughs> that kind of sucks. So yeah, um... Yeah, anyway, let's get into the bay battle, guys. There you go, Genesis Valtriate. Legion Sprite. Oh. Oh, and a burst finish to Legend Spring, and that was a burst finish. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um. Wow, alright. <laughs> that was insane. 
This act. This is actually hurting my legs. Is <laughs> my spries are no. Look more dense. Wow. This is the problem with Hasbro. Even though I've had this bait for a couple of days, so you know, I think I might have been battling it for a couple of days, but it, it shouldn't be doing this. Like not now. This is way too soon. All right. There you go. And bam. All right. And another burst finish. So um, this bait is pretty powerful in right spin. So. Um, yeah, where's the letter? Oh, there. There's Genesis Valtrek getting wrecked. All right, so now, all right, guys. So now we have here the battle that I really wanted to do, which was Drain Fafnir eight nothing versus uh, Legend Surprise and Seven Merge. So let's do a quick test battle here with Drain Fafnir. There we go, round one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, come on, come on, Spryzen, come on. I'm actually really scared to launch my Spryzen rec my, um, not Requiem, not Requiem, I don't have him yet, okay? I know everyone else might, but I don't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, all right, so Drain Fafnir won that round. With a, with a, uh, I actually can't talk. With a survivor finish. Alright. And... Whoa. See, Fafnir is just absorbing those attacks, yo. Yo, Fafnir is absorbing those attacks like a beast. Oh, man. Spryzen can't get in any good hits at all. Whoa, alright. So, Drain Fafnir won that round again with a spin finish. Alright, here we go. It's probably the final round because it's Fafnir, but who knows? Surprising might be able to get a comeback. Come back. Uh, oh, yeah, come on. Come on, Surprising. You can do it. You can do it. Surprising. I believe in you. Come on. No! Uh, and Fafnir takes out that round again and obviously winning this test battle. Three to nothing, so wow, alright. So, uh, yeah, now we're gonna get into another bay battle. And it's gonna be Legend Spryzen and Kinetic Satoom. So, uh, yeah, let's just see if Legend Spryzen is any good against this bay, because this bay does have some pretty nice slopes, Kinetic Satoom. So, let's get right into it. Let's see if Legend Spryzen can get through Kinetics of Tomb's defenses. Oh, big hit. Oh, another couple of big hits. Oh, I don't think so. Not for this first round anyway. Oh. Oh, no way! It actually bursts the Kinetics of Tomb. Okay. That's interesting. All right. So, Legend Spryzen bursts Kinetics of Tomb. So, yeah. Two to nothing. Legend Spryzen's way. Let's see if Kinetics of Tomb can at least win one point. And Spryzen. Dang. Oh, come on, you can hit him. You can hit him! Come on. Oh, wow. That actually was Kinetic Satoom with a survivor finish there, guys. Um, so, yeah, I will be giving that one to Satoom. So, two to one is the score. Alright, there you go. Legend Spryzen takes out Kinetic Satoom um, with a score of three to one. So, now we're on to our final match, which is Tempest Wyvron um, versus Legend Spryzen. So, uh, yeah, both Hasbro, by the way. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Tempest Wyvron and Legend Spryzen. Oh, Legend Spryzen does it with the quick ring out with the first round. So let's get into the second round now. All right, come on. You can do it. Come on, I believe in you, Wyvern. Oh. Nah, I don't think Wyvern. Oh. Hold up. Uh oh, hold up. Legend Spryzen might take the L here. And he does, man. 
Wyvern has some pretty sick stamina there, so it was at, it did actually have halfway. The slopes were halfway, so he. Wyvern was very close to bursting, but thank goodness Bryson ran out of spin, spin for Wyvern anyway. <laughs> All right, Wyvern. Whoa, whoa. All right, come on. Oh, Wyvern might be giving Spring a bit of, I'm mean, surprising a bit of a uh, hard time, and he is. All right, there you go. Spryzen takes it out again. All right, this is the final round. Two to two is the score. It's going to be Wyvern or Spryzen. We won't count that round, because, yeah, that's, that's just, no. We don't count those rounds. That's not fair. <laughs> All right, come on. That was a bad launch. Man, my launch is getting really stuffed up. I really need to get a new launcher, but I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of broke, but yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, and the best finish at the end there. So, Legends Bryson takes out pretty much all the bays except for, um, uh, Drain Fafnir. So, uh, yeah. Overall, guys, i got to say... This bay is pretty nice. Um, it's it's pretty good for the right spin. It's basically like the Takara Tomy version. The right spin is really nice for the bay, um, and it's actually a really good attacking layer. Um, but the left spin is pretty, like it's 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 kind of trash to be honest. And when I started using left spin for the bay, um, you guys can see I started to get more and more of these uh, stress marks here and these little dents. So that is a big problem with Hasbro. I've had this Takara Tomy version for about a good couple of months, actually. I've had this Takara Tomy version for, and you guys can see, even though it is actually dented, it's actually pretty hard to see, and it doesn't come up with those little, with these little stress marks. So, because of the cloudy plastic, the stress marks come out, and it actually, to me, it actually distracts from the whole look of the bay. At least with Takara Tomy, you don't get that. So, you know, um, one, of, one of the, um faults I think with Hasbro's cloudy plastic is is obviously that stressing uh, there so if Hasbro can try and figure out something in how to um, fix that that would be really sweet but um, yeah still overall guys overall as a bay besides this these little you know these little um, flaws inside the bay I still think Hasbro did a really nice job replicating uh, at least the look of Takara Tomy's bay and making the bay look a lot more anime accurate. I and I genuinely, I really like the look of this bay and it actually performs pretty nicely. Um, I just don't advise going into left spin with this bay because you do risk a lot going into left spin. You can possibly break your bay if you launch it a bit too hard. So you know, um, I learned a, I learned a lot of things from uh, my Drasil video. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, don't launch your base so hard and you might and you won't break your base. That's basically the end of the story. Um, but um, still, this problem, I think, is a problem for most Hasbro base. And uh, anyone that owns a Hasbro Bay and has owned it for a while will probably agree with me <laughs> with that one. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. I still think it's a solid bay, though. So, I think it's a solid buy. If you come across a Legend Surprise, I still highly recommend you pick this thing up. So, there you go. That's my review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy my review on Ladies and Surprise, then please be sure to hit the like button and obviously the subscribe button as well. I really appreciate it. And also comment below if you feel so. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, it's J-Pineapple signing out. Peace.